Today's audience' um, uh, ability to devote their time for art um, is not as great as it was when this piece was created. And it, this piece is from 1958. Yes. So it's kind of a different era. Yes, completely. Culture. The form of the dance play has changed, and that is significant. It is significant, and seeing the results. I agree that um, for right now, it's, it's a kind of a necessary experiment and valuable. I, I feel like the audience is going to stay with it, um, possibly in a different way than a three hour long right. ballet. Right. Uh, you know, there are very particular audiences that will stay in a three hour modern dance. You know, you have traditionalists and then you have people who are a little bit, uh, who enjoy the change of times and how the work changes with it. And we have both. Yes, exactly. Both. exactly. We have experiments with ballets and we have classical ballets that are not touched. Right. Um, the people who are in charge of the experimentation, um, I feel like they know what they're doing. <laughs> it's not like, oh, let's just try something out. I mean, our artistic director, Janet Elber, is so knowledgeable and experienced in this particular theater and she has the courage to put herself on the line and try things and she um, enlists the help of so many dancers who have maybe been in the ballet originally um, or directed the company prior to her and uh, it's done in a very respectful way I mean this is an artist's work Martha Graham is not here to say yeah, go ahead, cut it, don't cut it. So it's uh, stepping out on a ledge for, for our artistic director, um, for the greater good, for the life of the repertoire. Mm -hmm.